hello, how to solve t to the power of t and this equals 9. So we are solving for a value of t that will satisfy this equation. That means we are looking for the power of t that we are going to raise to the power of itself that will give us 9. So I know some of you would think it is 3. Don't forget that 3 raised to the power of 3 is not 9. This is 27. Now, if you consider 2, you have 2 power 2. This is 4. So, what we are looking for here is 9. This 3 raised to the power of 3 is giving us 27. And 2 raised to the power of 2 is giving us 4. So, what this tells us is that the range of the value of t that will satisfy this equation is between 2 and 3. So we can say that 2 is less than t and t is less than 3. Meaning that the range of values of t starts from 2 point something because 2 is less than t. That means t is greater than 2, maybe 2 point something, and stops at maybe 2.9 or 2.99 something because that is obviously less than 3. So for us to find that particular value, we need to solve this exponential problem. We cannot be testing like this. It's going to take a lot of time because you need to consider 2.1 raised to the power of 2.1, consider 2.2, raised to the power of 2.2, then just like that, and that will actually take us a whole lot of time. So let's solve this. We are going to make use of natural log, ln of t to the power of t equals ln of 9. Then we apply the logarithm property log a to the power of b equals b times log a. So this property here is also applied to natural log. The t comes behind the natural log. We have t times ln t equals ln 9. Now we need to solve this. And for us to solve this, we are going to apply the Lambert W function. And this function is very important because that is the only function that will help us to solve this equation. Now, how are we going to make use of this function? It is denoted by capital letter W. So whenever you have this, it means that is the Lambert W function. And you apply it to expressions such as a times e power a, and this will give you a. You also apply it to an expression such as Lambert function of e times, or let me use x because we have it already, x times e power x, and the output here will be x. So if you have the Lambert function of 3 times e power 3, what you are going to get will be 3. So this is how you make use of the function. So we need to have an expression such as this, or this, or this, something like this, but it must be in this form. So have you seen it, what I've just circled? So that means we need to convert this part of the equation to the form of a times e power a. So let's record the problem. We have t ln t equals ln 9. So for us to convert this to this form, that means we are going to make use of this identity. If you have e power ln x, this is just like writing x. Why? Because the e eliminate the ln and the x will be the output. So this is the identity that we are going to use right here. That means instead of writing this t, we are going to represent it using e power 
LNT. Because if the E eliminates the LN, what we are having here is T, which is just the T that is here. So we are going to replace this T with this E power LNT, and the equation becomes E power LNT, which is the same thing as T times LNT equals LN. Nine. Now the next thing we are going to do is just to rearrange this, and when once we do that, we are going to have ln t times e power ln t, and this equals ln nine. So right now we have this similar expression that is a times e power a, and here is ln t times e power ln t. So we can apply the lambda Dory function. We have capital letter the real of ln t times e power ln t, and this equals the lambda Dory function of ln nine. So don't forget the fact that whenever you have the lambda Dory function here, we are going to have the output that is ln t, just like what we had here. The output here is three. The output here is x. So the output here will be ln t, and this equals the laboratory function of ln nine. Now we are actually solving for t, so we need to isolate this t, and we need to eliminate this ln. And for us to eliminate this ln, we make use of e. We have e to the power of ln t equals e power the laboratory function of ln9. So what happens is E eliminate ln and what we have left is simply T equals E power lambda rate function of ln9. This is the solution to the problem. Now for you to have a decimal value, what we have been looking for, the actual precise value of T that will satisfy that equation. What you are going to do is to make use of your calculator. So you have your t equals e to the power of. If you cannot find this lambda ray function in your calculator, you make use of bulldot lock. Bulldot lock is another name for lambda ray function, and this is what you are likely going to see in your calculator. You have bulldot lock of ln9. And when once you type in this e power product log of ln9, that will give you an approximate value of t, and this is approximately 2.4510 into four decimal places. So this is the value of t that will satisfy that equation. That means if you have t power t equals nine. That means 2.4510 to the power of 2.4510 will give you an approximate value of 9. So we have gotten this without wasting time testing so much, and this is just precise. So ladies and gentlemen, this is it. And if you obviously enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you. And I'm going to do more videos on the Lambert array function. Is such an interesting function that you need to know. So go ahead and Google Lambert Ray function if you have never made use of it before. It's such an interesting function. Thank you and goodbye.